What's up, guys? Oh, yeah. Push on. Anyway. That was a tiny guy. Tiny little guy. Alright, well, I didn't even get to uh, say a hi or anything to the camera. Now I pull out a tiny little guy. Small. Still fun, though. But, uh, got my cousin here with me. Um, brought extra gear. Got my bass gear. My two bait casters. He got his gear and his bass gear. But right now we're targeting anything really. I brought my ultralight rod also. My micrographite Shakespeare rod. It's a five foot ultralight. Picked it up for 15 bucks at Walmart. I also got the Shimano Sienna 500 FD with two pound test on it. He has, what are you working with? An Avocat. Uh, Mitchell. Okay. What kind of line you have? About eight pound strength. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can pull out any good fish. Action here is pretty good. I see I'm already getting a bite, but I'm thinking that's the bluegills. I'm trying to stay away from the bluegills because it's they're hard to catch for some reason. I just had a fish right there. Okay. I was gonna go down and grab it. Oh, sorry, for the bait that we're using. We got the power bait smelt minnow. I'm using a 64th ounce jig head. Since I'm using a really light line, it still goes out pretty far and it sinks down fast for this kind of line. It's a nice little weed bed around here also. Hopefully later on, me and my cousin will shoot a good bass video around these weed lines. Oh man, I just lost a nice fish. Just a lot of action going on. It's just so hard to get the hook set on these smaller fish. I'm gonna step down here. Fail fall. Just wanna get closer and so I can cast it out a little more farther. There we go. The reason why we picked this spot is because we've seen a, a school of bait fish and something's been chasing them around, popping on top of the water. Bass in here are so aggressive. Anything you throw out that is fast, retrieve really fast, they'll hit that bait like it's nothing. Doesn't help that this wind is now coming from the west. It was coming from behind us, and that gave me a better opportunity to get it out farther. I was pushing my line out more. Now it's pushing the line to the right, and I don't like it. There we go. Don't know what it is yet. And it got off. I think it was a bluegill, had an orange belly. And that's two pound line right here. It's no joke, it's pretty strong for being at two pound. I was getting my fish through these weeds like it's nothing.
All right, he's hooked up. What do you got, bluegill? Yep. Cool. Let's make that a double. As long as it doesn't fall off this time. It's a good six inch bluegill. Because it's a little bigger than mine. Mine's about like four and a half. Four and a half, five. going oh he's hooked up again now the action has picked uh, that's another it's nice uh, yep so it's six and a half seven inch go That thing strike like it was a bass. It's a nice gill though. Nice gill. Six inch gill. Not big. But it's good. Water clarity is really clean, really clean water. I got this wind again. Man. Small little tabs. Cousin earlier was killing the bass off these smelt minnows, but obviously every time I turn on the camera, bass aren't biting. Also doesn't help that the fish took the tail off my smelt minnow. Current conditions of the weather is really nice. Um, not even 70 degrees yet. Still on the hoodie. The winds of uh, 11 mile per hour coming from the south and obviously the west. There we go. Oh, that was a nice fish. There he is. He's back. He's back. Oh, that's a, that's a nice one. That's a good fish. That might be a white bass. I'm not sure. I do got white bass in here. Could be a large mouth. And he broke me off. Yep, white bass it was. I seen it. Alright, well I'm going to retie and get back with you guys. Alright. Back, tied up. Cousin just caught a nice bass. He's about a 13 and a half inch. Yep, it's a nice fish. Let that guy go. Caught him on the smelt minnow. Fortunately, we don't have any more.
So we're just working with any kind of jig really. So the bite's pretty good. I'm guessing it'll take anything, I hope. We do got different kind of minnows, but the smelt one's working pretty, pretty good. Oh, I just... Oh, there you go. What, the bass? Yeah, the bass. I finally just left. <laughs> I can get mine a little bit farther out there, but... Oh, wow. Well. My line was twitching really hard right there. There you go. There you go. That's a bass. Oh, that's a nice oh, one. Oh, yeah. Hopefully this doesn't fall off. There we go. Good fish. They don't have to be too big today. I'm just trying to have some fun. This fishing's all about having fun. Nice little bass. Smaller than my cousins. This one's about like, what would you say, 10? Yeah, I would say 10. Around there. 10 and a half. Around there. There's a big turtle right there. Sticking its head out of the water. We'll get this guy released. Man, that thing shot out like a rocket. Alright, well, I'm gonna probably change baits to another minnow. Because I'm working with. A second. This is what I'm working with Pepper Jack Tube Jig. 64th ounce jig head. You guys can see that. I'm gonna just change up and I'm gonna get back right back at you. Hooked up, folks. Got another one. Uh, nice little bass right here. There he is. Not a giant, but really fun. Healthy little fish, though. Really healthy. Beautiful fish. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. White oh, striper. Uh, I don't know if it's a striper, but it's a nice fish. Hooked up again. Just get out of the weeds. Get out of the weeds. Watch that. Nice guy. I'm using that same one as you are. Another nice little. This is a little, this guy's a little chunky one, so. This was the bigger one last time. Nice fish. Beautiful and healthy. Get it thrown back again. So long. Alright, hooked up guys. And I think I have a crappie on. Yes, I do. Alright. That's what I've been looking for. Ooh, that's a slab. That's a good one. This is a good crappie, folks. It's about a 10, 10 and a half. Around that range. Good fish. I'll get him tossed back. Such a beautiful fish. Look at him go. Hooked up. We are hooked up, folks. Beautiful jump. Ooh. Beautiful jump. We found a school of fish, of bait fish came out. If you guys see it right there in the middle, not really in the middle, it's about like 15 feet out. And uh, these bass and white bass were just uh, chasing around, so I had to throw the bait right into the school of fish. But I got a nice bass right here. Beautiful fish. There he goes. Alright, somebody's hooked up with a nice crappie. 
beautiful fish. Sorry about that. It's all right. Ooh, he he took it. the jig, huh? Oh yeah. Show the camera. Look at that. Crushing the baits. I love the Berkeley Power Bait minnows. That's a nice fish. All right, there with the release. Beautiful, good-looking fish. Bass, bass, nice bass. Uh, jigs. Get off, buddy. All right. Now, no bucket. No bucket. 